Hello everyone, I am back again and this time I am unboxing for Biggest Craft and I will leave all of that information in the description bar below. I can't quite remember if I have a money off um, code with them or not, but if I do again it will all be below. Um, so let's just jump right in. Starting off with this one. It is a lovely little witch sat on her broomstick with lots of cats. Um, I know this is obviously very Halloween-y, but I also thought it was very autumnal, which is why I chose it. Um, it is 14 count and it is 29 centimetres by 21 centimetres, so it's not massive. Um, it's a joy Sunday. I can't remember if I said that. And in this you get a very shiny and thick chart so you can see from here there are 24 colors I can imagine this is going to be just like my um, dragon girl one that all neutrals um, and a very large chart and I just love this one as soon as I saw it I was like oh, I've got to have it right, I'll put the threads to one side and as you can see oh it's upside down it's not a very large piece. It's called The Witch and the Cat. It is 118 stitches by 91 stitches. I think this is adorable. Absolutely adorable. And I'm looking forward to doing all the little bits of back stitch on this one. So it's well printed. There's nothing wrong with this chart. It's absolutely brilliant. I've never actually had a bad quality Joy Sunday, to be honest. Um, so yeah, pop this one to one side. Next up, before I carry on with the cross stitches, I actually asked for a, an accessory. I've been seeing a lot of people mention this, and it's tape. You can wrap it around your fingers instead of using thimbles. And I must admit, if I stitch for a very long time, sometimes like the edges of my fingers get quite sore. So, um, I probably won't use this straight away, but I'm going to save it just for when my fingers get really sore. Apparently it's reusable as well. I'm not sure how long the stick would last once um, used. But this is like a dollar, so if you're making an order anyway, you might as well shove one in your basket. So next up is probably one of the smallest... I've ever done, no, ever ordered from these places. It comes with an instruction chart. I lost my words for a minute. And because the picture's so small in this one, I will put the picture up on screen as well. But I'll show you. It is a lovely little turtle. So I have two pet turtles. So this one called to me. And it's actually 18 count. I've never done an 18 count stamped before. So I'll give it a go. And the chart's so diddy. It's only got 30 colours. And yeah, I absolutely love this. Look how tiny that is. I mean, like, for size reference. It's about the size of my hand. And I thought this would look so cute. In a tiny little frame, just above the turtle's tank. Um, like I said, it's got 30 colours. Comes with a typical kit. I've got extra... Um, uh, I'm guessing this is going to be like a crew or something similar to that. But that's going to be the background, I'm sure. And then... Oh, oh, a bit of a tangle... Come on, come on. Look at these colours. My favourite colour is green. So having an array of different bluey greens in one cross stitch is a dream come true. I like that one. Pretty. Yeah. They are absolutely great colours. Still trying to untangle them. They are really nice colours. There's quite a lot of other ones in the series of this and seeing how small it is, I kind of want more of them now. I think there was like, 
I don't actually know. I think there was like a little cute cat and I might just be making it up. There was other ones though. I'm not making that up, I promise. So, and then finally, I have one more that is on the larger side of things. I'm hoping I've got a good picture of it as well. It is a good picture. So on the chart, how blooming cute is that? That's bloody adorable. I'm actually looking forward to doing the flowers on the teapot and the teacups. But oh my word, I saw this and I was just like, oh my God, it's so cute. And I, I'm wondering if it's the same sort of series. I have um, a Battenberg bat and a jelly bean cat and they kind of, they're all quite similar so I'm wondering if it is the same series oh and the colours the colours so this one like I said is a bit larger it's 50 by 50 centimetres it's 11 count stamped cross stitch and it's 191 stitches by 191 stitches the instructions are printed on the chart it's on shiny paper so it's durable and the printing looks perfect. No smudging. It's all good. And you can see here, there are 50 colours. It's quite a lot of colour, quite a lot of colours for a, a stamped cross stitch actually. So again, it comes with the usual kit. It's got a bird and if i just show you the canvas itself surged all the way around the edges which is good well it is actually quite big i can't get it all on camera so they always come with a little picture just for your reference so you know what you're doing and let me just fold this back up this will never work and yeah all the colors are printed down the side so you don't actually really need a chart i love it and i really don't love what all these new places are doing all these places are doing with the threads so i will probably put these all on a thread holder like a plastic one I don't use the, um, I don't know what they're called, like rings, metal rings to hold them on. Floss drops. No, these are floss drops. Anyways, if you cross stitch, you'll know what I'm on about. So I will probably put all of these on a thread keeper holder of some kind. Um, I'm not even going to unravel this, I don't think. But look at those colours. Look at that luminous green. They are gorgeous. All the purples. Mm-hmm, beautiful kit. What I'll do is I'll put all the links down below so you can see the prices. Do go check out Biggest Craft because they are an absolutely fantastic um, website. Um, I think they've sent me two packages now, or is it three? Either way, it's always a pleasure to work with them and I really hope I get to work with them again. So check them out. Till next time, goodbye.